Hello. In this video, I'll explain what mindfulness is, give an overview of the different practices and look at the benefits. Mindfulness meditation involves paying attention to what is going on inside and outside of ourselves moment by moment. An important part of mindfulness is connecting with the body and our senses. So this means fully attending to the sights, sounds, smells and tastes of the present moment. Another important part of mindfulness is an awareness of our thoughts and feelings as they happen moment to moment. So whenever you bring awareness to what you're directly experiencing via your senses or to your state of mind via your thoughts and emotions, you're being mindful. John Pabat zinn who founded the Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Programme, described mindfulness in this way. Mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment and non-judgmentally. The non-judgmental aspect of mindfulness can be a real challenge because when you pay attention to your senses, thoughts or feelings, you usually discover that you have ideas and opinions about just about everything. We're always judging things, for example, I don't like that, I do like that, that's good, that's bad, I want more of that and so forth. So if you observe your mind, you might notice a steady flow of judgments and opinions. Non-judgment isn't about stopping judgments from ever arising because that's impossible. Instead, it's about changing your relationship to your judgments, knowing that they're temporary thoughts and you don't need to be swept away by them. What can be really helpful here is bringing in an element of curiosity. So this means noticing what comes to your attention without judging and being interested in the experience without trying to change it. So curiosity means noticing a thought, feeling or sensation, but not reacting to it. So just noticing it. So mindfulness involves learning to pay attention in the present moment without judgment or evaluation. It's not living in the past or planning for the future. Mindfulness involves directing your attention to the present moment and an intention to do this without engaging in the tendency to judge or criticise. Now, in this sense, mindfulness involves consciously being aware of and observing our experiences again and again and again. When we discuss mindfulness, we often talk about formal and informal practice. So formal mindfulness practice refers to meditation, and this offers an opportunity to experience mindfulness at its deepest level. For example, during a mindfulness of breathing practice, you typically follow every in-breath and every out-breath again and again. So the breath serves as an anchor that keeps the mind grounded in the present moment sensory experience. So some people aren't drawn to the breath and for these individuals, the body scan mindfulness practice can be an alternative. So with the body scan, the attention is directed to different parts of the body. And this has the added benefit of taking attention away from thoughts so the body is an anchor for the mind. Now, other objects can serve as anchors for the mind, such as sights, sounds and smells. Informal mindfulness practice refers to the application of mindfulness in everyday life. Common exercises for cultivating mindfulness in daily life are mindful walking and mindful eating. During mindful walking, you attend to the sequential moment-to-moment -moment bodily sense of walking. You pay attention to how your legs, feet and arms feel with each step that you take. You feel the contact of your foot as it touches the ground and the movement of your body as you move into the next step. During mindful eating, you will eat slowly, notice the food on the plate, the sensations of the food in the mouth, the jaw movements of chewing and the flavours of the food and the process of swallowing. You can bring an informal mindfulness practice to getting dressed in the morning, showering, cleaning your teeth and so forth. So have a go. Mindfulness teaches us to observe ourselves in great detail so that we can experience the arising of a sensation, thought or feeling followed by the urge to act in response to it. So with mindfulness, we can develop the ability to pause, 
take a breath and observe what is going on and gain perspective. Now, in this way, mindfulness practice can help us develop the capacity for emotional regulation and restraint. Several research studies have shown that mindfulness reduces rumination, which is the negative internal chatter. Now, as, a, as mindfulness is centred on concrete experience in the present moment, it counteracts rumination, which is typically focused on past and future thinking. Research has shown that people who have a regular mindfulness practice experience fewer depressive symptoms and less anxiety. There's now a large body of research showing that mindfulness can help people cope with pain and long-term health conditions. Published studies report significant improvements in people's sense of being able to control their pain symptoms, reducing physical and emotional reaction to pain and decreasing the level of interference that the pain has on daily activities. Mindfulness techniques have also been proven to promote positive change in the brain pathways involved in stress, focus, attention, memory and mood. So research has even found that a steady dose of mindfulness over a certain amount of time can physically change brain structures long term, including age related brain degeneration. I have a large range of mindfulness practices on my YouTube channel. I've also added the links in the description below. So have a go and remember mindfulness is not about emptying the mind of thoughts or feelings. It's not ignoring thoughts, feelings or experiences and it's not forcing yourself to relax or feel a certain way. Mindfulness is about recognising and accepting what you feel, whether that's pleasant unpleasant or neutral. It's not something that we learn through a book. We learn mindfulness experientially through practice. So let's have a go. So if you've enjoyed this video, you might want to click on the video on the screen now. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you soon.